I'm standing in Hermosa Beach, one of the most beautiful beaches in Southern California. It's right in the center of an area known as the Beach Cities in Los Angeles, sandwiched between Redondo Beach to the south and Manhattan Beach to the north. If you keep going north, beyond Manhattan Beach, you'll hit Venice, Santa Monica, and eventually Malibu. As a Los Angeles real estate expert, people often ask me, where are the best places to live if you want to be near the beach? Now, of course, most people have heard of the iconic Southern California beach towns like Malibu and Santa Monica, but today I want to share with you three beach cities in the area known as the South Bay that are lesser known but amazing places to live if you're looking for a cool beach town vibe. But first, if this is your first time here, I'm Shira Adato. Here on this channel, I cover what it's like to live, eat, work, play in the neighborhoods of Los Angeles. So if that content interests you, I invite you to hit the red subscribe button below. I have people reaching out to me all the time who are thinking of moving here and I absolutely love it. So if that's you, please reach out to me. All my contact info is included in the video description. So let's go explore the South Bay Beach Cities. The South Bay is an amazing place to live. It's away from the noise and hustle of LA. It has a very laid back vibe, excellent schools that each have their own district and do not fall under the umbrella of Los Angeles Unified. It has amazing restaurants, great surfing, and home to some of the best beach volleyball tournaments. The average temperature is around 72, very low humidity. It rarely gets colder than 60. And because of the ocean breezes, it rarely gets too hot. But because of all this, real estate here can be very expensive. Hermosa Beach, where I am now, is the smallest of the three cities with a population of around 19,000. It has almost two miles of beachfront and is a super quaint little town. In the heart of downtown Hermosa is Pier Avenue with lots of great restaurants, bars, boutique shops, very family friendly. It has lots of parks and a great bike path. The one thing to note about Hermosa is that it does not have its own high school. Residents can choose between Redondo Union or Miracosta in Manhattan Beach. Redondo Beach is the largest of the three cities. It has a population of around 68,000, and Redondo actually has two zip codes and is divided by north and south. South Redondo has about a mile and a half of beachfront. In the heart of South Redondo is Riviera Village, which has great restaurants, boutique shops, small businesses. There's also a cool pier and marina. It's where the high school is located. And because the coastline has a lot of condominiums, there's more affordable beachfront property available. The downside of South Redondo is that it's furthest away from any freeway, so it can make your commute longer. North Redondo is very different in that it is not adjacent to the beach. It actually sits inland and east of Hermosa and Manhattan. Lot sizes in North Redondo are smaller and therefore a little more affordable. And one of the other benefits is that it's close to the 405, which can make commuting a little easier. North Redondo is also known for a lot of what they call two on a lot properties, which is where two townhouse style homes are built on one lot. Manhattan Beach has a population of around 35,000 people with a little over two miles of beachfront known as the Strand. In the heart of Manhattan Beach is its iconic pier with the Roundhouse Aquarium. Downtown Manhattan is a really trendy place to hang out and has some amazing boutique shops and highly acclaimed restaurants and bars. It's actually become quite the food destination for some top chefs. Real estate values in Manhattan are the highest of the three beach cities, starting with multi-million dollar beachfront properties on the Strand and the Walk Streets. But as you move farther east, a little away from the ocean, you'll find larger lots, beautiful tree-lined streets, and lower price tags, but still in the seven figures. So that's my brief intro to the South Bay Beach City neighborhoods of Los Angeles. If you wanna learn more about which neighborhood in Los Angeles is right for you and your family, reach out to me at the contact info you see on this screen or go to losangelesliving.vip to download a free copy of my relocation guide. There are tons of options here in all price ranges and the South Bay truly is a very special place to be. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments which town you'd like to explore next.